I'm here with Matt Steiner and Anthony Stroll. They are on the Photos team. Photos. These include Auto Enhance, uh, which edits your photos for you, and Highlights View, which summarizes your albums and photos and picks the best for you to share. Uh, auto Backup, which we'd already had out as Instant Upload, and uh, Increase in Quota. Now you have 15 gigs of space for storing your full. I appreciate that. Thank you. And, and Unlimited, after you use the 15 gigs, it's unlimited at tablet resolution. Yep. yep. And we really feel like these are big time savers for our users because no one wants to sit there and upload the photos or go through and curate them or spend has the time to edit them over and over again. So we'll, we'll give you a good first pass on all of those things and you'll have more free time to take more photos and share more photos. Yep. And uh, there's also one extra special that we have, which is Auto Awesome. Um, a lot of times uh, people just take photos. Um, they can take 30 photos in one minute. And what we want to do is give you something special back for those photos. So you'll see uh, animated GIFs, um, little animation clips um, from a burst of photos, or panorama stitched together, and even photo booth style collages. So one of the things we, we talked about just a second ago before we got on camera was uh, the this is more of a kind of a move to support the, the mobile centric experience. Uh, uh, I, I personally am a desktop because I'm a power user. We we have you know expensive uh, cameras that we use to take uh, pictures of the events that we go to. But most people are, are increasing numbers of people you're finding are not necessarily falling into the category that I'm in. So uh, talk a little bit about uh, kind of the growth that you've seen there and. Uh, you've mentioned the features. You know, kind of go into a little bit more detail about how those, how what you're doing is catering to that group of people. We've seen phenomenal growth of mobile photography over the last few years. Android as an operating system is on hundreds of millions of devices, and everyone now has a camera in their pocket with them at all times. It's on their cell phone. So we've seen tremendous growth in the number of photos that are coming up to us uh, that are shot on cell phones. They're just the most convenient camera people have with them. So uh, with that growth, we've really tried to support our mobile photos users better. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, camera, uh, the Android camera is actually uh, the most popular camera on Earth, um, given that we just said today that there's 900 million devices out there. Um, and uh, that has matched the growth that we've seen on, on Google Plus Photos. And uh, because of that, people are actually even more um, nervous about what's going on. What if I lose my phone? What happens to my photos? Um, how do I share this out quickly? I'm always on the move. So what we want to do is um, you know, give you a great highlight. So it's not just about sharing uh, electronically, but also in person. If you see a friend that you haven't seen in a while, you can just say, here are the highlights of my life, and turn your phone around. So um, we think the feature set's pretty awesome. Um, we're hoping that people will love it and, uh, yep. and uh, spend some time on Google+. Plus. So Maybe you can spend because I'm I'm interested in the kind of the journalistic repercussions of this stuff. Uh, obviously, given given my profession, but I, it's just something I've followed for a long time. Uh, the the implications of having feeds readily accessible of photos and you know tagging and being able to make, make all that searchable. Obviously, you guys are in the search business, so um, maybe uh, maybe look to the future a little bit and tell me you know kind of uh, where you guys are headed in those with respect to those features and you know where you guys see in that uh, taking off as as your uh, explode those capabilities. Yeah. Well, we've had a, as you're mentioning tagging, we've had our Find My Face tool in the market for co quite some time, and it really allows users to uh, find all the photos of their face that they have and tag them more easily. And sort of a, a one of my favorite features. Yeah. Thank you, and, and sort of a kind of batch way, and, and that's a that's a big time saver as well. Um, but we've really tried to emphasize photo search now uh, in the new experience. You can go through your photos. You can search. Um, for the content in the photos, even if you haven't labeled your photos. You know, Vic gave a great example with the Eiffel Tower. There was nothing in the post that talked about the Eiffel Tower, and yet we were able to say, this is a photo of the Eiffel Tower. We can do the same kind of things with the photos that you give to Google, and then you can ha uh, have a powerful search experience over your own photos library. Show me those photos from Halloween. Show me those photos of the birthday party, or of that celebrity that we saw the other day, right?
Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, just to add on to what Matt's saying, actually, um, I, I guess we call it computer vision, and it is um, the underpinnings of a lot of the features that we've been launching today and that users get to enjoy. Um, a really good example is Auto Enhance. When we actually look at, look at your photo, we're actually not just saying, oh, this is any image. We're actually saying this photo is special. It has people in it, or it has buildings, or it has skies and trees and things like that. And because of that, we are able to edit it in its own unique way that makes that photo look the best. Um, so you know, I think one of the trends we're seeing is we're going to try to make your camera way more exciting than it used to be with the cloud. And, um, you know, uh, computer vision is is a big part of making that um, really enjoyable experience. Well, I got to say, and you, the the viewers can kind of see this behind the people have been demoing the Enhance It product. I was a little bit nervous when I heard it announced. Okay, there's just going to be something automatically enhancing my photos. But uh, I'm glad to see that it's not just making it look like a Polaroid from the 70s. It's actually, kind of some intelligent uh, algorithm back in the background. Uh, making some real kind of context sensitive uh, improvements to the photos. Uh, the llama with the, the define, it's not back there anymore, but it was earlier. The llama with the, the showing like the hair refining, it was take it, kind of took it from a, a soft focus to a, an actual, and it, this is a pretty, you probably can't tell in the small window on the, uh, on the browser that most people are watching. This is a very big screen. You can see a lot of detail that you can't, uh, couldn't have uh, originally saw in the uh, unenhanced version, so. We want to make really contextually sensitive edits, and we've built this system such that it does powerful edits in the in a way that a professional photographer would. Correct. We've trained this machine learning system with real professional photo editors, and uh, we're trying to make it have a similar positive effect. Yeah. And a, yeah. a big part of it is just it looking natural, it looking great, it, it looking actually expensive, as though a you know a, a, a pro photographer would actually do it. And we we don't want to go overboard. Um, that's it's really important to us um, that we preserve you know the memory. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I think it says a lot that a lot of pro photographers do use uh, Picasa and do use uh, Google Photos. So that and they guys are looking to cater to that as opposed to just the casual. I want to, I want the hipstamatic look or whatever that's, whatever the word is for that. So you know, I I, I uh, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing how this is developing, and I'll, I'll be watching with a keen eye as you guys continue to make improvements. And I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Mark Risen Hopkins uh, signing off for the moment here at Google I/O 2013. We'll be back with more interviews and and uh, demonstrations as the week continues. So stay tuned. <laughs>